everyone, I said I'd do a more detailed vid on these guys. As people that don't know, these are my hermit crabs. Uh, there's one under there. And then the other two, you can just see Sherman over there. I'll just zoom in so you can see. There's Sherman. And then there's Merlin. But uh, yeah, I said I'd do a detailed video and here it is. Right guys, well, these, there's not much care on the internet for these. So I'm going to do my best from what I know. They sent professional care or anything just. So make sure you still do your research and what have you. But um, right, first you're going to need a saltwater pit. Uh, I'm not talking table salt or anything like that. Um, it needs to be... Well, I would recommend Instant Ocean. Uh, that isn't what I use at the moment, but I will be using that. And then uh, tap water that has been conditioned, obviously. You can't give them tap water. Um, again, I don't use it, but I'm going to be using Prime. Uh, it's called um, Satan Prime. I will be using that. Uh, Eggshells for extra calcium. They won't need anything else other than that, even though they've got cuttlefish. Uh, you're going to want to provide them different food options. I mean, my one crab, Sherman, he loves apple, so he's got his own little apple section over there. Then I've just got dried fish um, and dried river shrimp in there. I have a variety of foods. Um, I have that. That's just like a mixture of flowers and seeds. Spinach powder. Uh, Rapashi. Also got this today. Um... Uh, which should last them a while I've heard they absolutely go mad for coconut so I got them that so uh, yeah but uh, Roy let's go back to the video um, while I'm here I know I did a video when I'm unboxing and I thought I was correct but do not use this brand Zoomed they're absolutely rubbish for hermit crabs I've not properly tried this i might give it a try and see how they go but i mean if you've got this uh don't use them uh there is a preservative called ethyoxyquin just there at the bottom um that can be toxic to hermit crabs and it's not good for them um oh one's just is sherman coming out no but um yeah so you're gonna want to a wide variety of different foods. I mean, if you ain't got enough money to get, like, uh, stuff like this. If you're from the UK, this is from uh, crabbycravings.co.uk. I mean, if you ain't got the money to get stuff like this, I mean, you can always just give them f different, a different variety of fruit. Change it up every once in a while. Uh, that can have peanut butter. Um, I haven't tried this with mine, but popcorn. Um, I can hear him scraping away. Oh, you can't see him. Um, let me just. <laughs> but yeah, you can have a uh, popcorn, obviously unsalted and unsweetened. So just plain popcorn. Um, that's gonna need. They're gonna need cleaning out. So I leave these in for like up to two days, uh, and then I offer them something else. I mean, there's always apple available. I change it up sometimes. I also add raspberries, uh, broccoli, uh, as they like their fruit and veg. Um, this is just for their health. Uh, I've been told to add that in, so I just keep that there. So um, they ain't touched it though. But um, yeah. My crabs are quite fussy. Um, they uh, don't really want to eat a lot. <laughs> but uh, you're going to need somewhere for them to climb. As you can see, they've got a ladder uh, where they can get on top of this. Uh, fake plants are also good for climbing. Um, yeah, what else is there? You're going to need a humidity gate. Oh, that's all fogged over. Oh, it's all on the inside. Oh, that's a bit crap. Um, but you're going to need a humidity gauge and thermometer just to monitor up what the temps and humidity is like. So, yeah. But that's crap. I've only had that a couple of days. <laughs> but, um, yeah, they've got a lucky budder here. They've knocked it over. Sherman loves it. Don't leave it alone. <laughs> but, 
But um, yeah, guys. Let's see if we can get a shot of Flash. No, I don't want to come out. Camera shy. <laughs> but I mean, Sherman. Sherman will always be out. Is this is the first time I've seen him like that? Like borrowed a bit. Uh, Merlin there is always hiding. You never see Merlin. Uh, Flash is the same usually. Usually hides and he don't come out. But I guess they come out at night. They are nocturnal, so. But yeah. Uh, you, oh yeah. Also, I forgot to mention. You're gonna want plenty of shells, as they like to move house. Uh, not even even when the molt, they need bigger shells. But I mean, they'll just move house for the fun of it, just because they get bored. So, um, but um, yeah, that was one of the shells that came in. As you can see, they've moved out. Actually, Flash has moved house. <laughs> I've only just realised. <laughs> oh, that's good. Unless that's Flash over there. No, it's not. That's that's Sherman. Yeah. Well, Flash has moved house. Don't know where he's put his shell, but <laughs> is it under there? Let's have a look. Probably dumped it over there somewhere. But yeah, that's made me happy. All three of them have moved house since I've had them now. I've had them two weeks tomorrow. Uh, I've learned all this through Facebook groups, what I'm telling you now, how to look after them and stuff. But as you can see, I'm getting starting to get slight mould on here, so I might have to take this out and clean it. But I can't while they're burrowed. Oh, that's another thing that I forgot to mention. If they're burrowed, please, please, please. Please do not dig them up. Um, if they are molting, you will kill them. Uh, if they're burrowed, they're, they're just better off left to it. They'll come out in their own time. Um, don't go prodding about or anything or sticking your fingers down the burrow to startle them. Because, again, that will kill them. Um, so you just got to leave them to it, basically. I mean, I shouldn't really have the lid off for this long, but as you can see, the humidity ain't dropping a lot, so... I'm fine at the moment. Um, also, what I've done, they don't need uh, ventilation holes. They breathe through gills. So what I've done to keep the humidity in is wrap the lid in cling film. Uh, yes, they can still breathe. So before anyone tells me, I'm, oh, you're suffocating them or, oh, they can't breathe or they've got no ventilation. Uh, not to worry because these little guys do not need ventilation, which is a good thing. You need, um, if you're going to get some of these, you need a... Uh, a solid top lid. The only reason I have a screen lid is because I bought the Zoomed starter kit. Zoomed crap brand, but I didn't know much about them when I started. So um yeah, you got oh about the substrate as well. Ideally you want it five parts sand to one part part cocoa fibre. So they can the cocoa fiber is just so they can hold the structure of their burrow. Because uh, the sand will just cave in. It needs to be uh, play sand, not just your normal bird sand or whatever. It needs to be play sand. I bought 25 kilos off Amazon for £15. And that's what I've used in here, as you can see. But I'll show you what I mean. Like, I mean, if you look at the sand, it clumps. It's not like like normal sand where it just... Like with my esterosis, like that sand, that's bird sand. But as you can see, it clumps. I d the best way to explain it is if you um, if it needs to be the cons it needs to be the consistency of um, if you want to like go to the beach and build a sandcastle like that consistency. But um, I think flash is coming out. No, okay. But um. Yeah, guys, well, do you know what? I'll leave it at that. If I've missed anything out and you want to know anything, just drop me a comment in the comments section and I'll get back to you. Cheers.